unemployment. But whatever happened to job momentum in the White House that they may be gaining now could actually be lost because of just two words, Joe Biden. You know the phrase they always use? Obama and Biden want to raise taxes by $8 trillion. Guess what? Yes, we do in one regard. We want to let that trillion dollar tax cut expire so the middle class doesn't have to bear the burden of all that money going to the super wealthy. Well, Mitt Romney not wasting any time jumping on the vice president. Yesterday, the vice president blurted out the truth. He said, in fact, they do want to raise taxes a trillion dollars. Well, I don't want to raise taxes on any Americans because I want to create good jobs in America. Money manager Kyle Harrington and tax watchdog Manny Doppler says higher tax rates on the rich will lead to much higher unemployment rates for all of us. Uh, Matty, I want to start with you. You know, it's, uh, you know, I guess with the class warfare thing, it doesn't matter what the residual damage is going to be or where the real uh, damage is going to be on the Main Street. They don't care. I guess they're going with this. I guess in a, in a certain way, maybe just hoping the public can't connect the dots. Right, and it will be interesting to see how Joe Biden follows up with these remarks, right? Because he's saying a trillion dollars in tax hikes, exactly where we want to go with this economy. When, again, remember four years ago, we had uh, President and Joe Biden telling us absolutely no tax increases on anyone making less than $250,000. So it's hard to understand while we still have an economy that's languishing and worse than when Obama came into office, why we're now looking for more tax hikes when four years ago the right strategy for them was to be talking about no tax hikes. And as we've seen, you know, Everyone's been hit under the Obama economy, and coming in the next four years, we already know how the middle class and people trying to keep their businesses afloat are going to be affected. Right. Obamacare has got at least seven tax hikes hitting people less than $250,000, uh, uh, making less than $250,000 right. a year, and 13 more tax hikes on top of that. Yeah, and, and you know what? And we discover a couple more every month or so. Kyle, you know, I, I, we do, right? But, but Kyle, I know that this is something that bothers you, and it, it's really crazy. The vice president just throws numbers out there, I guess suggesting that somehow uh, the rich are getting over a trillion dollars that somehow they're getting from you, the average person out there. Not that people are earning money, and of course the number of trillion seems so out of left field, but it, it, it resonates better than one billion. They, I think they got tired of talking about millionaires and billionaires, and now it's all about the T word. <laughs> Charles, I, I remain uh, spectacularly perplexed by uh, Joseph Biden, and, and I got to tell you, uh, at least he's consistent in his message, which is he continue his discourse continues to be just simply incorrect. I mean, if this administration continues down the path and believes that by raising taxes we're going to get ourselves out into into uh, solvency and, and and lower the 16 trillion dollar debt that we have, he's just simply incorrect. And uh, I have to tell you that Mitt Romney on stage talking about the tax issues and talking about how to back our way out of this situation that we're in was just simply, uh, simply awesome the other night. It, it was awesome. But here's the thing, though, Matty. I don't know that the administration sincerely believes that this is going to help us economically. I don't think this is an economic game as much as sort of the us versus them, punitive punishment, redressing the wrongs of yesteryear oh, by going after the people who benefited the most from an unfair America that existed <laughs> until just four years ago. Right, exactly. You know, Charles, that's, that's exactly right. And we've seen this for the last couple of months, last couple of years even. You know, Obama was really uh, touting away this, uh, this Buffett rule that he had floated a couple months ago, talking about how he's going to have a minimum tax for millionaires. Well, that minimum tax would have raised less than one-tenth of one percent of the spending he wants to do over the next right. ten years. So tell me how this is actually going to fix any kind of fiscal malaise he's already created. It's not. It's about the rhetoric. And the fact of the matter is, too, is Joe Biden may be consistent in calling for tax hikes, but a trillion dollars is actually fairly tame compared to what we've seen this administration propose. You know, the Simpson-Bowles Commission was uh, name-checked quite a bit during the debate. That's a five trillion dollar tax. Like, right. one trillion is far less than this uh, administration actually wants to see. Well, all I can tell you guys is I don't know what comes after a trillion, but I'm bracing for it. <laughs> Maddie and Kyle, <laughs> thanks a lot. We appreciate it. Thanks, Charles. Thanks, well, Charles. we're going to see a lot more of the Vice President next week. Neil,